Hello! Good evening, my brothers and sisters. How are you? I hope this video finds you well. By the grace of God, this is your brother Cedric again. I'm here with you today to go through scripture on temptation. Temptation can be a challenge if you're living carnal and by the flesh. But if you're li living by the Spirit, being led by the Spirit, then you can overcome the temptation and receive the reward in heaven from our Heavenly Father. So before we go through scripture, we always start the day off with, with the Lord's Prayer. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. And then from there, we'll pray to God to ask us to ask him to help us with walking the talk. from the God-breathed scriptures that he's provided to us. So may we bow our heads and close our eyes in honor and reverence of the good Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we have forgiven those that are trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen, amen, and amen. And Father God, as we engage into the word, your word, that is God breathed in scriptures. We ask that you open up our minds to receive it. Oh, hallelujah. We ask that we rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus, because we know that our minds is the devil's playground. So we say to Satan, get behind us, because we're picking up our cross and following Jesus. Father, we ask, we ask, Father, that your word reaches our hearts because we believe it. That everything that you have said to us is true. We know that we can count on every principle and precept that you have given us. And oh, how we thank you, Father, for the love letter that you've given to us as your children. And Father, we would ask that you permit your word to, to reach our feet so that we can walk the talk to, 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 to be a light, Father, to this world so that we can be salt to the earth. Oh, hallelujah. We ask that you be a lamp to our feet to lead, guide, and direct us on this path and on this journey called life. We understand, Father, that this is not a sprint, but a marathon. And we look to the heavens for all the answers. And we thank you, Father, for the instruction manual for life. This, Father, we ask all in Jesus' name, we pray forever in a day. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed the Lord's Prayer as well as the engagement of the Word of God with me. Today, I'd like to read from the book of Romans, written by the Apostle Paul. 
in the sixth chapter of the 14th verse. And it reads as follows. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under law, but under grace. Brothers and sisters, the good news is we are free by God's grace even when we sin because of his unmerited favor that he has for us. That's what grace is, unmerited favor because of his love for us unconditional. Isn't that an amazing father? I just want to say thank you, God, for your grace and mercy. Continuing, continuing on, my brothers, in 1 Corinthians, written by the Apostle Paul, again, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. And it reads, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you accept such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Brothers and sisters, the good news is God always gives us a way out to not fall to temptation. He says that turn 180 degree and go the other way. God always gives us a way out because it's not God that tempts us. It's the devil. See, that's why it's so important to live by the spirit, the Holy Spirit that dwells within us and not by the flesh that is carnal. That's what causes man to get in trouble. I was once that foolish man, but oh, I thank God. I thank God that the spiritual warfare that I was having between the, the good and the evil. Oh, Father God, Father God, he, he got the victory. This is why I do what I do today. Because I've surrendered to the will of God. Because his way is the best way. And his way is the right way. Just and fair. And I just want to say thank you, God for your word of truth that gave me a way out to no longer fall to temptation. Hallelujah to the highest praise. To God be the glory. And brothers and sisters, I'd like to continue on with our final, final scripture today in the book of James. The epistle James uh, I wrote um, the letter in chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. And it reads, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. God cannot be tempted by evil, 
nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Brothers and sisters, the wages of sin is death. I'm just here to tell you. If you don't change from your evil and wicked ways, you're setting yourself up for failure. Ultimately, for death. To be separated here on earth from your loved ones and to be ultimately separated from our Father in heaven, thrown in the lake of fire throughout all eternity, weeping and gnashing of teeth, crying out to God, help me. But it's too late because you're gone. This is the time now to change. Turn 180 degree and go northbound towards home. Store your riches up in heaven because where your riches are, your heart will be also. So, brothers and sisters, the good news is those who endures the test of faith, the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things unseen. To the end of this life, will receive the promise and the reward in heaven and to live eternally with our heavenly Father. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, brothers and sisters, I've just have decided to pick up my cross and follow Jesus. I've told, told Satan, I've looked him square, straight in the eyes. I said, Satan, get behind me. For I am picking up my cross and following Jesus because I know his way is the best way for living in the land. And brothers and sisters, I would highly encourage you to do the same because this is not our home. We are leaving this place. But before we do, we have work to do. We have to live for God by living spiritually and not carnal by the flesh. Say no to temptation and yes to God's way. Amen. So brothers and sisters, until we meet again, be blessed and a blessing to others. And to God be edified. To God be magnified. And to God be glorified.